Hi guys, it's Shweta here and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing for you guys the newly launched L'Oreal Paris into Balmain Collection Lipsticks. L'Oreal and Balmain collaborated for this lipstick collection that they brought out and they are total of 12 different shades in the collection. This collection is a limited edition collection so while it's available get your hands on it. Balmain as a luxury brand is known for its gothic rock chic style. I just love their collection. It's very edgy, it's very uh, modern, it's for the woman who is fierce and confident. And so when Balmain collaborated with L'Oreal Paris as a beauty brand and made their own, designed their own lipsticks with them. I was so crazy and I love the collection the colors are gorgeous they're very edgy just as the brand is so anyway they just launched their collection and I couldn't be more excited about it the main part where Balmain is included in this whole collaboration is the designing of the packaging of the lipsticks as well as the shades that are there so the shades are made in the way that it actually appeals to the Balmain woman so I got my hands on three of the shades and I just got my hands on this really pretty box this is actually their three combo pack edition which comes like which is actually a collection of three different shades I got this box from Nykaa.com and it's all the shades and everything is available on Nykaa so you can go and check it out there are three different variety of lipsticks that are there in the collection and it, you can distinguish it uh, by the color of the packaging though there are lots of shades that I wanted to get my hands on but because because the uh, three lipstick collection comes in only two different varieties, I just got my hands on one. These three lipsticks each retail for rupees 1050 which is expensive as a lipstick but then again considering that it's a luxury brand limited edition lipstick it is costing less than your MAC or you know any other high brand high costing brands. Uh, so I think the pricing is okay and again these are matte lipsticks by Colorish. So Colorish is one particular style of lipsticks by L'Oreal which are very very pigmented so I'm really excited because the colors are so diverse and you can you can have orange, greens, reds and everything so it's just so gorgeous and I'm like and for the first time in my life I got my hands on colors which are very very different and they're like I would never have thought of wearing ever but for some reason this collection has inspired me to get above my normal tendency of wearing lipsticks and go for something that's edgy and that's really confident this box retails for rupees 3150 for three lipsticks but right now it is on some it is on an offer and you can get it for rupees 1999 so it's a very good opportunity for you to get your hands on three lipsticks at one go if you are looking for that it comes in this really gorgeous box and it has it has been written Loyal Paris and Barman. So let's just love the box. I can use it as so for so many different uh, things. Anyway, you can open the box. It's a magnetic box which gets opened like this. And this is the collection of the lipsticks. Uh, these are the three lipsticks that come here and I just love the packaging. It looks so gorgeous and luxurious just like the ones I really love. So it just looks so gorgeous. Anyway, these are the three lipsticks that I got. I got one from the blue range and two from the black range. I was looking forward to the green range but somehow I think they didn't have that stock and I could just get this one. So basically this collection is themed around uh, like tribal themes and the collection is designed by Balmain uh, designer Oliver Esteng. Oh, the design of the whole lipstick is their classic L'Oreal Paris lipsticks. So they have not changed the overall design of the lipstick and all. Uh, the packaging design is same. It's just the overall outer color and the packaging of uh, the design of the packaging is different. So I think that looks nice and it's pretty convenient for me. Uh, it doesn't seem flimsy. It is an expensive lipstick and it looks like that. So this is what the collection looks like and just let me show you guys how the lipsticks are. These are the lipsticks that come and the lipsticks um, are packaged gorgeously. I love the packaging. It is better than their usual packaging because the usual packaging just seems a little flimsy for me. But these packagings are really sturdy. They look utterly gorgeous. Like I love the black one. Just look at it. It looks gorgeously luxurious. And even the blue one is just so, so gorgeous. I think it looks awesome. I do have written Balmain over here. The packaging, I think um, that is the biggest plus point of the whole collection and that is what the collection is about. So the packaging comes in three different uh, varieties. One is, the black one is called Ktor, the blue one is called Rock and the green one which I don't have is called Glamazonians. So I think the packaging is well made, it's well thought and that's why the whole collection takes place and I think they have put so much effort on it and it actually looks like that. So I got 
put my hands on three of the shades and uh, the three shades are called differently so they have really nice adjectives for um, these shades and I love the names okay the first shade that I've picked up here this shade is the lightest shade of the whole collection this is called confidence um, now the thing is this shade isn't too much appreciated that's what I've heard but anyway I'll just show you guys the shade here so it looks like this it's some gorgeous coral pinkish shade in uh, like it's that's what you can see from it and this is the lightest shade in the whole collection so if you are fair I think this will look really nice anyway I haven't swatched it yet this shade in particular uh, does have a little bit of sparkle in it which is great because it goes with the whole color so the next shade that I have from the blue collection is called power now this is a very very dark shade I think it is something that I have never actually seen as a brown but anyway I'm really excited this is like a gorgeous gorgeous dark brown shade and I think it just it's just amazingly gorgeous I love uh, the color but I don't know how much I can carry it off but this just looks amazing I think it's a very very dark color and I think it's the darkest shade of the whole range so I think I have both the darkest and the lightest here <laughs> the last shade that I have is the most uh, popular shade or thing I think the most uh, the shade that has interested me most out of the collection is the purple one which is called freedom and this is a gorgeous gorgeous purple shade and it is even more gorgeous than the purple shade that Aishwarya Rai wore at Cannes I think two years back this is even you know even more beautiful because it's a dark purple shade it just it kind of makes your gothic soul arise from inside it's just so gorgeous I think this is a shade that requires a lot of confidence and guts to carry off especially when you're going outside and people are going to stare at you but you know what this is called freedom for a reason Now that you have seen me wear the shades and now that I have seen myself wearing the shade, I have a lot of different opinions about it. Now firstly, I'll be talking about the shade and the color and pigmentation. So pigmentation wise, these lipsticks are awesome. I think these ones are the best, one of the best L'Oreal uh, pigmentation I've like ever seen because the colors are so diverse but yet the pigmentation is great. The only complaint I have is with this shade which is Confidence which is the lighter shade. I think uh, no matter how gorgeous this looks on the bullet, the color doesn't appear that good and it just looks like a very very, um, uh, it looks like a lip balm with a lot of gold sparkle. So you have this really odd gold tinge in it and that color just, just washes away in my complexion. I don't know whether people who are fair can carry this off but for me I think it's a very very light color but again I have a DIY idea I think this will work great as a highlighting shade because I think this will go very well with skin tones like uh, you know Indian skin tones or dusky skin tones and can just highlight your face like awesome if you got your hands on the confident shade or you're planning to get this one I just tell you guys it's a very washout shade for us uh, Indian skin tones but you can use it amazingly as a highlight it's going to look really really good so that's what my complaint is with the pigmentation I think my favorite color out of the, all the ones is the freedom which is the purple shade I think this shade looks amazing it's highly pigmented and just looks amazing also uh, power looks very nice as well it has a very nice uh, pigmentation so no issues with that the colors arise really great so these two ones are the favorite out of the whole lot in terms of the color and the pigmentation now coming to the texture of the lipsticks i think these are one of the best textures in laurel paris lipsticks i've ever found these are not just like dry mattes these are creamy mattes so they are amazing they glide on your lips but they are matte completely matte so that's where um, i think i have the soft corner for these lipsticks though the colors are not something that i would wear every day 
the texture itself is something that I would wear every day. So the texture wins here. I think that is the biggest plus point of the collection. They have taken care a lot about the texture of the whole uh, lipsticks and made it as uh, convenient, as soft and matte as possible. So I think it's a great texture that to work with. I talk about value for money I feel these lipsticks are expensive they aren't the cheapest lipstick out there but considering that it's a limited edition designer collaborated um, collection um, I think this is okay you can pay thousand rupees for a lipstick especially nowadays where normal generic drugstore lipsticks cost you around 900 um, I think it's okay to pay this much but again this whole collection has a lot more shades which are wearable for which are wearable for everyday life so if you are looking forward to buying any of the shades from this um, collection that is wearable for a daily basis you can look at the individual colors and i think you'll find it um, but if you're looking for shades that are out of the blue, you know out of the box and make you stand out in a crowd i feel these two shades work really well uh, that is freedom and power i think these are very good shades to stand out with power is a color which can be worn outside and you know for a regular basis the only thing is it depends on your skin tone how dark it appears to be uh, but overall i think i really loved the lipsticks and i think these are the kind of lipsticks that i look forward to like it makes me feel luxurious and it just makes me feel so much more powerful as a woman so if you are looking for a collection that's out of the box and you want to try it out i think you should definitely go out there and check the collection you can check it online these uh, lipsticks are available on, on all the online pla um, on all the online websites beat amazon uh, nika and you can also check it out at all the Laurel Paris counters that are there in the country so you can get it at anywhere. For the rating, I will be rating it an 8 out of 10. So that's my rating for the lipsticks. For a DIY, I think there are two different aspects. Uh, this shade that is Confidence which is the lighter shade, you can use it as a highlighter whereas this shade which is Power which is a very dark shade you can use as a contour and I think I will do like a contour and highlight with these lipsticks video soon so if you guys want that you can request me down in the comment section below and I will really love to do that so guys that's it for the video and I hope you really liked it if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe please subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, you can follow me on all my social media channels all the links will be down in the description box below also if you have any video requests any query about the products or anything that you want to ask me you can put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to um, reply to you as soon as possible and with the best answer that is and uh, that's it for today and hope you're having a really nice spring ahead stay connected with me and keep on supporting me ciao